Hey everybody, how are you today? This is Jim from The Pain PT. And today's topic is invited in, welcome it in. Invited in, welcome it in. And we're talking about your sensations. And this is a strategy that is very, very powerful, very, very helpful. It's something I've been talking about in my group sessions. And if any of you guys are interested in joining, um, I offer group sessions once a week on Wednesdays from 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. West Coast time, hour and a half. And we're going through how to deal with your sensations in your body. So if any of you are needing more support or help, I really encourage you to look at the groups because you get a lot of uh, information and you get a practice. I release a daily somatic practice each day during the week. Um, that you'll receive an email, an audio that you can practice similar to the somatic tracking. And we go over the primary principles of how to work with your sensations. And one of the things we're going to talk about today, guys, is the idea of inviting it in and welcoming it in. Okay. And when you think about it, this is the opposite of what we typically do with sensations or what we call symptoms in the body. I call these sensations because they're coming from the brain, not from the body. And the idea is that these brain sensations are not dangerous or harmful or really threatening in any way to your body. They're not physically harmful. Okay, so it's the idea that these things aren't dangerous. They feel very dangerous. They feel very painful or uncomfortable or um, a lot of discomfort in your body, but in and of themselves, they're not, okay, because they're just signals from your brain, not structural problems from your body. So this idea that when we can flip the paradigm on its head and say, you know, come on in, sensations, please come in, come in stronger, do what you want. Yes, yes, come on in, I invite you in, please, please do, make yourself at home, do whatever you want, whatever, go for it. Yeah, come on, let's go. When you start to encourage your symptoms and sensations that come in, what you do is you take down any resistance, like a wall here. You, you, you take this down so the sensation can start to flow to go. Okay, so you really take it down when you, when you have that attitude and approach to your sensations. Because otherwise... Uh, we have unconscious and conscious layers of resistance in us, guys, that we don't want to feel this. We, we are trying to push this away. We're trying to stop it. We're trying to fix it. We're trying to make it go away. And then we, we focus on it, right? We, we focus on the sensations. That locks it in place as well, forms some resistance, that's hypervigilance. So we're doing all these things that maybe we don't think we are, but we are actually resisting what we feel and we're, we're treating it instead of saying, yeah, come on in, please do whatever you want. Stay as long as you want. Um, you guys need to drop any timeline for healing here because there's nothing to heal, okay? If you're thinking this way, I gotta get this thing to go away. Man, how long is it gonna take? I'm working so hard, I'm doing everything, I'm doing all the somatic tracking, I'm doing all the tools, it's not working, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you're treating it, guys. Maybe you're trying to fix it. Maybe your intention is to make this go away. And I'm telling you right now, don't do that, okay? That's not the right approach here. I've tried this myself many times with different things. It doesn't really work. The idea here, because it's a chronic sensation from your brain and not from your body, there isn't anything wrong with it. We are teaching the brain that what you feel is fine. And one of the best ways to do that is to welcome the sensations and they can stay as long as they want and be there as much as they want or as intensely as they want. And you're saying, yeah, come on in, please, please come in more, come in more. Yeah, I welcome you, please come in, stay as long as you want, do whatever you want, get stronger, get weaker, move around, be my guest. Because when you do that, you are strongly teaching the brain that you're not worried by them, you don't care you think they're fine, right? Because that is one of the strongest indications that you're like, whatever. And that teaches the brain that what you're feeling is not dangerous to you or threatening to you or a problem to you that you need to get rid of or fix. 
And when you take this approach of dropping your resistance and inviting them in instead of pushing them away or fixing them, they actually go away faster. Okay, so it's the opposite. Uh, it's called paradoxical intention is the word. And it's our reverse psychology on your sensations. Okay, so let's use reverse psychology on your sensations, guys, that you do the opposite. You welcome them in. You want them to come in. You invite them in. Let them stay as long as they want. I don't care if they stay here the rest of my life. That's the attitude you need to have that will shift them, believe it or not. Because otherwise, you're coming from some type of fear or worry or concern. It indicates to yourself or to your brain that you do think there's a problem to fix, that there is something wrong I need to take care of, I need to make go away. And what happens, you end up putting more stress into your system and the sensations can rise and get worse and they won't go away. Okay, so you can't fight off these sensations, you can't run away and flee, you don't want to freeze up. I always talk about facing them and the way you face them is that let them hit you in the face. Go ahead, go ahead and whack me in the face. Come on, bring it on, let's go. Let's go. It's all great. Come on, let's go. You got to have this attitude because otherwise you're trying to treat it. We don't want to treat chronic sensations. There's nothing to treat. There's nothing wrong. That's the idea. We're just teaching the brain that it's fine. That we're safe. We're okay. There's no danger. There's no threat. Uh, the limbic brain is indicating that. We're saying, no, no, there is not. So the best way to do that is to, to flip it on its head and say, yeah, but give me more. Give me more. Come on, let's go. Bring it on. And then you stay strong. You stay firm. You face it. Okay, you face it. Facing it, we talked about, is not fighting it. Facing it is not fleeing it. Facing it is not freezing up in the face of it. It's just facing it and letting it hit you in and inviting it in more. So guys, welcome it in. Invite it in. Uh, I also welcome you in and invite you into the group sessions. Um, we'll be doing them again in January. You want to sign up um, for the group sessions that are the cost of one individual session with me but you get um, an hour and a half each week of live and recorded material that you'll be sent you're also going to get a daily somatic practice from me and really teach you guys the the process that you can practice this daily you can really get it down you can get it down you can learn it more of how you deal with these sensations it's so important you got to use the conscious mind to deal with the unconscious Otherwise, you're spinning in the unconscious patterns all day and symptoms or sensations are bubbling and coming and, and you're doing the wrong thing. So I encourage you guys, if you want to join, um, we've got a great group growing, going already. We've got a private Facebook page. I welcome you into that. Um, if you're interested, you can go to my website, thepainpt.com. And I really hope you guys are doing well. hope you're gaining a lot from the channel. I'm going to keep putting out information for you guys to try to get this into the conscious mind and then seeps into your unconscious mind. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.